Aloha. My name is Krista Heiser and I'm a professor of composition and rhetoric at Kopiolani Community College in Honolulu, Hawaii. I'm also the director of the Center for Sustainability across the curriculum at the University of Hawaii System. I'm speaking to you from Manoa Valley, an indigenous space where I'm privileged to live as a settler ally. My contribution to this important conversation about climate anxiety is in regards to college faculty and the professional development, pedagogies, design of courses and programs of study that best support them. I'm doing a study about how teaching climate change impacts faculty identity, disciplinary identities, and wellness. I blog about the teaching climate change study on Medium. I'd like to make three points. One. Our research has illustrated that a latent emotional environment of fear, anger, sadness, shame, and hope exists in college classrooms, whether or not the teacher is talking about climate change. In fact, climate anxiety is created by dissonance between what is being taught and what is being experienced in the sociocultural field. Second, I love this word indwelling coined by Michael Pogliani in the 60s to describe the type of felt sense that is necessary for knowledge translation. As knowledge brokers, faculty must learn to activate the sense of indwelling, the emotional connection, and learn to hold space for complex conversations in order for learning about anything to occur. And three, hyper objects. We can't teach about climate change in a PowerPoint. This is a way of saying that the brain's wiring literally does not support learning about climate change without experience, emotion, and application. The right hemisphere of the brain plays an important role in seeing the wholeness of this complex problem of climate change, which Timothy Morton called a hyper object. My work is about designing professional development to upskill and retrain faculty in every discipline. College has been designed to pass on disciplinary knowledge, and we're going to need to structurally retool higher education in order to teach in the disruptive, chaotic, and uncertain times that we are in. Mahalo.